The Cataclysm took everything from us. It took away light and warmth. It took away the verdant fields of home. It took our joy and laughter. But we Asmodians are survivors. The cold, the darkness, made us stronger. Our new lands were testing us to see whether we were fit to survive and thrive. Lord Asphel and the other surviving Empyrean lords guided us as we built the great city of Pandemonium and tamed the harsh land of Asmodee. We saw mysterious fissures appear in the sky from time to time. We did not know what the aliens were until they arrived. They looked as we once did, before the Cataclysm changed us. They came to conquer, to finish what they started when they destroyed the Tower of Eternity. The Elios leader Deltrus and his legion scurried from hiding place to hiding place across Morheim, slaying our brothers and sisters as they went. Lord Ziegel finally confronted Deltrus and tried to arrange peace, but the haughty Elios regarded us as subhuman, and Zico had no choice but to punish them for their murderous crimes. Asmode was peaceful once more, but for how long? Across Pandemonium, whispers became speeches, and speeches became demands for action. Lord Asvel declared that this new challenge, like all the hardships we'd faced, would test us and make us even stronger. The call to arms went out across Asmode. We formed a new legion and marched to the other side of the fissures, a chaotic place called the Abyss. We built a fortress there and hunted for the Elios. And there we found our ancient enemies, the Balar. They came in waves against our primum fortress, but we held strong. In a flash, the Elios came to our fortress walls when we were weary from a long Balar siege. Under their leader, Lord Kaisenel, they were overwhelming. Despite our bravery, the fortress we guarded for so long was crumbling before our eyes. But even as we despaired, our leaders had one trick left. Lord Lumiel activated a great force field that pushed the Elios traitors back into the depths of the abyss, where they belong. The Elios Lord, Kaisenel, retreated in shame, the battle cries of the Asmodian Devas echoing in his ears. Once again, the Elios tried to take us by surprise, and once again, they failed. But even as we chanted thanks to the Shadim Lords for our victory, we knew that the war, the true test of strength between Asmodee and Elysia, had just begun.